Deepak and I welcome you to Day 8, Improving Every Relationship. This week, we're focusing on becoming agents of change, starting today with how you can improve every relationship. Once we repair the disconnection from our inner self and begin to embrace our own inner peace, we can then focus on creating true, meaningful connections with others. Starting on that path can begin with even the smallest steps, savoring the ordinary moments like taking your child to school or getting coffee with a work colleague. All of these moments require a change in perspective, looking past ourselves to the people around us. As odd as it may seem, I am not really a social butterfly kind of person. I've always reserved my downtime at home for solitude. Before I moved to California, I'd always lived in apartments, never taking the time to know the person even across the hall. And once I moved to a real neighborhood, into a house with neighbors who knew each other, I experienced a shift in the grocery store of all places. I was alone, pushing my cart down the aisle, and a woman I did not know stopped me and said, Welcome to the neighborhood. We all love it here, and we hope you will too. She said it with such sincerity, I swear I wanted to cry. In that moment, I made the conscious decision not to close the gate on my life, shutting myself off to even the possibility of a new circle of friends. Because of that, my life has a new unexpected layer. I thought I was through making friends, but once I made that choice to move past my old comfortable social pattern, I found myself looking forward to hanging out, laughing, connecting with neighbors as I never had before. The woman in the grocery store, whose name I didn't get, triggered something really important for me. Life gets sweeter when you open up from a place of peace and continue to expand your circle. Let's listen to Deepak guide us through improving every relationship, even in the grocery store, and then we'll meditate together. Once we move past self-judgment, we reach a turning point from which we can become an agent of change. As awareness expands, every relationship can help move you to a greater spiritual awakening. Even though it takes two people to create a relationship, from the level of the true self you have the power to be a change agent entirely on your own to the benefit of the whole relationship. To begin, what sort of change are we aiming for? Personal change, which occurs on three levels. What we believe, what we say, and what we do. The first level, belief, should be based not on the ups and downs of external events, but on a vision that inspires and uplifts. The most positive belief is trust. If you can trust that love, peace, truth, intelligence, creativity and inner growth are always there for you, you have a truly inspiring spiritual vision. The second level of personal change, what you say, falls into the category of communication. Your words shape the relationship by constantly staying in touch with the other person. Our goal should be to consciously communicate with another person. It's as basic as pausing before you speak and asking yourself, is it true? Is it kind? Is it necessary? The third level of personal change, the level of action, also needs to be conscious in that you take full responsibility for your actions and consciously consider 
how they impact the other person. If you had to calculate this whole scheme, you'd face an impossible task. Consciousness must become self-fulfilling. It must lead spontaneously to what the Buddha referred to as right thought, right speech and right action. But right is not about choosing good over bad. Instead, the rightness comes from the level of being, our true self. If you change what you say and do from this deeper level, the whole relationship shifts, even when you introduce only small changes. On the basis of your experience with the true self, gained through your meditation practice, the messages you send to other people will be much closer to what the true self is telling you, which is, I care, I'm listening to you, you matter, I'm not here to blame, I want only good for you. These messages are the input of a true change agent in any relationship. As we prepare to meditate together, let's take a moment to consider our centering thought. I can create positive change in my relationships. I can create positive change in my relationships. Now, let's prepare for our meditation. Make yourself comfortable and close your eyes. Begin to be aware of your breath and just breathe slowly and deeply. With each breath, allow yourself to become more deeply relaxed. Now, gently introduce the mantra, Om Mitraya Nama. Om Mitraya Nama. This mantra activates the natural bonds of love and connectivity we have with all beings. It awakens our inherent friendliness with everyone. Repeat it silently to yourself. Om Mitraya Nama Om Mitraya Nama Om Mitraya Nama Nama. With each repetition, feel your body, mind and spirit open and receive just a little more. Whenever you find yourself distracted by thoughts, noises or physical sensations, simply return your attention to silently repeating the mantra. Om Mitraya Nama Om Mitraya Nama Om Mitraya Nama Please continue with your meditation. I'll mind the time and when it's time to end, you'll hear me ring a soft bell. Om Mitraya Nama Om Mitraya Nama Om Mitraya Nama
It's time to release the mantra. Continue to sit restfully, inhaling and exhaling slowly. When you feel ready, you can open your eyes. As you continue with your day, contemplate the centering thought. I can create positive change in my relationships. I can create positive change in my relationships. Namaste.